welcome back to another episode. You see what it is, you see what your boy got going on. I had to go ahead and chop the hair off. Guys, I was honestly just having a Rito reset moment. Spring is here, summer is on the way, so your boy had to go crazy with the cut. Before we go ahead and get into this video though, guys, there's a few things that I wanna talk about as I take my honey, because I'm about to go have a speed workout. Let's go chat in the car. All right, guys, so first things first, Drop 6 is live now, guys. We went ahead and dropped a bunch of new product. I know you guys are waiting for the New Era hats for some time. Guys, the New Eras are honestly probably not gonna last that long. So make sure you guys head to the site, hit the link down below. We dropped three new tees, one of them being the Super Series gray tee. We dropped the Crosshair tee, the State of Mind crop tee. As well, we went ahead and restocked one of our fan favorites, the Canvas Black Work Pant. Guys, this is quickly becoming one of our signature pants that sold out real quick in January as well we're launching a new pant the mossy oak canvas work pant guys I'm excited for anyone who cops a pair of these pants to feel the quality and the material because they definitely got like that kind of rough canvas washed out utility vibe to them so I'm really really excited for anyone who cops from this drop you guys know I've really just been going fucking hard with Trinity this year but I'm gonna go ahead and send this video back in time sorry but you know your boy was rocking the molly for some time so we're gonna go Go ahead and jump back into that era. Let's fire it up, baby. Let's go. Back in the office, right? Your boy got done a little workout today. I'll show you guys the fit later, but this upcoming drop is fucking dialed, bro. I'm just telling you right now. Honestly, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm not fucking around. I'm gonna tell you this upcoming drop, bro, it's insane, all right? Peep the fitted, peep the details on the fitted, peep the blue underbrim, peep the B, peep the stitching, peep the World Series inspired Trinity patch, peep the new era on the side, peep the little cursive B on the back, bro, insanely dialed. Super locked in on all the details, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, quickly a little story time. I posted on my story a little while back, I was like, guys, iPhone 15, not worth it. Okay, it feels the same. In fact, it feels lighter. It feels cheaper than the iPhone 13 that I have right here, okay? This is what I had before, it was the iPhone 13. We went ahead and switched on over to the iPhone 15, okay? For if one terabyte, bro, this shit's like fucking two grand US. It's insane. Like all taxes all in, it's like 1800 something. Truthfully, it's fucking insane. I will say, is it worth the money? No, but is the camera a whole lot better? And the answer is yes. So I'm here at the UPS store. I'm about to go return the 13. Then I gotta go head down to work. So I will see you guys at work where I'm gonna show you guys what the fuck I be dripped out in today, fam. Little drip check. All right, guys, so we're at the office right now. You guys know it's grind time, baby. We're at work putting in them hours, logging in them office hours, right? Check it out. State of mind tea. All right, up and coming from the latest drop, drop six. We got the raw edge, got the crop look. We got the Trinity hit on the sleeve there. Rocking these canvas black work pant. Boom, boom. Just part of the drop. Obviously rocking the new eras, check the blue underbrim. You guys know I went absolutely crazy with these. The World Series side hit. So we got some Alaskan King Salmon, I believe. Guys, $62 a pound. I know you're gonna be like, oh my God, you're getting ripped off. I know I'm getting ripped off, but it's literally just that good, so we gotta pay for it. All right, so I literally just took these four sauces. Sweet chili, this is like a Korean gojujang. This is like a curry kind of miso hot sauce. A little bit of mirin, a little bit of garlic powder, and I basically just made this sauce. Got a little bit of black roasted sesame. Sprinkle this one. Has a nice little crust to it. Turn that sucker on. Time, get that extra crispiness. And then in the meantime, I'm going to just caramelize some onions, boil up some veg, some rice, and I will meet you guys at the dinner table. Final result. Check out that salmon, guys. A little bit of green onion, cilantro on top. We got the black roasted sesame seeds on top of the sauce that I made. A little bit of choy sum with some sesame dressing, avocado, pickled veg some caramelized onions, then we got a little bit of rice. Let's do a live taste test together. Shout out Jetty for the bowl. Oh my God, bro, it's insane. 
Mm. That was even crazier than I expected it to be. Mm. 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 So I'm gonna finish up this food right here and then it's off to Denver tomorrow. I'll see you guys in Denver, let's go. to go check out a little breakfast brunch spot that Eric put me on last time I was here. It's super fire. Just the line is usually absurd. Spot. studio. Eric, say what up to everyone. The fuck is up? Yeah, we're about to grind it out. So, big thing for me when, you know, enduring these long tattoo sessions is dialing in a good amount of food in the morning. Like, I don't even typically eat in the morning. I already had like banana bread, had a smoothie. So I literally ordered two of these big bowls. is insane. Check it out. Oh, so fucking painful. We just numbed up, well we tried to numb up the back a little bit just because it's been really excruciating today. This has been probably one of the hardest sessions I've had since I can remember. Even my face looks like fucked up from it. day. I will say this right now. For those of you who've been following my tattoo journey for some time, you guys would know I've been posting, you know, the Eric tattoo session videos and like today was bad, bro. Like the hamstring slash like inside of the thigh, bro. We spent at least, I want to say like five hours in that area today. Bro, there was times when I was literally like screaming into the pillow, like, ah, it was so fucking painful. Even one spot, uh, he pushed down on a really sensitive spot that he had worked at and my leg literally went, whoa, and it like shot and it was like fucked, bro. Like, I just feel like my body is just shot from that session today. My eyes are bloodshot. Like, I just fucking feel, I feel completely completely fried. Yeah, I'm about to, about to pass out. We still have another day tomorrow. We gotta really, we gotta dig deep. We definitely gotta fucking grind it out tomorrow, you know? So, I'm gonna sleep. I took my magnesium pills, cause that's been helping me sleep for sure lately. I've been noticing, I've, as I've been taking my magnesium consistently before bed, bro, I'm noticing a difference in my sleep. I look like fucking shit right now. I'm just mangled, bro. Like, truthfully. You know, I'm just here with Kobe, I'm about to knock out, about to go to bed. And then tomorrow is grind time, back at it. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow. Talk to me, what are we doing? Let's see if we can make this not hurt. Oh, that's the most numbing cream I think I've ever put on anything, ever. You always have those tattoo sessions that are memorable, some for them being easy and then some for them being grueling and really painful. And I remember the hand was really difficult for me. And it's difficult because, you know, certain parts of the body, the ink doesn't really like to stay. So you can see where he went dark. He had to really, really push it in there because the hand just doesn't really want to stay. A lot of the times that stuff fades a lot. You know, you wear gloves, you're brushing it up against stuff all the time. Very callous skin. Yeah, exactly. So. We're gonna have to do the same thing, same idea kind of with the foot. I can imagine the foot being worse than the hand, so we're doing our best to try to numb it. The numb stuff has been a game changer for me, to be honest. I only started applying numb cream basically since I started getting my leg tattooed, and we started it in early December of 2022. So we've probably been using numbing maybe, maybe for a year. I don't think any longer. Yeah, it definitely like has its benefits, obviously. It's made sessions a lot, lot easier but it's kind of hit or miss. Like sometimes it just doesn't want to stay and doesn't really want to work, so. Stencil is on. You guys are gonna get my immediate reaction to what it feels like tattooing my foot. That's a wrap. 
all this shit in the inside. Good morning, guys. So I just left the hotel, and last night I ended up fucking passing out. I didn't even put my phone on charge. I was just so fried from the last two days, but on route back to LA. Let's go. Hello, Victor. How are you? The best fruit in the city. The new mango. New mango. Oh wow! Look at the color of that mango. Mm -hmm. Special mango, huh? This is special mango. Right now, it's very expensive, though. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, we're about to go log this run. Quick little physique update. I'm weighing in at. Holy shit! I'm back up weight. Wow, bro. 196. Definitely put on a little bit of body fat since the marathon, but. Believe it or not, this is actually me on some like, I don't need, I'm not even like yoked right now. I haven't even been lifting long enough, you know? I definitely want to get back up to like 200, but like stay kind of lean, you know? Plan today is to go log maybe like, I want to say maybe like seven to eight miles. So that's what we're going to do. I'll see you guys on the run. All right, like four point some miles in. We're cruising today. You got to be zen, bro. You got to have your body working at a certain rate where you're like, fuck, this is tough, but I can find a rhythm and I can just hold this all day. When you're training for a marathon, that threshold or that orange line or whatever you want to call it is typically a little lower. Now that we're kind of shortening up these runs, even though it's eight miles today, it's a little bit longer, we can kind of push the pace a little bit. I think I'm averaging around 720 per mile right now. We'll try to cut down on the way back, a couple deep breaths, reset, and then back on the road. 710 per mile for eight miles. Check that out. I've decided that I would really like to run the half marathon in May, and that's gonna be in Brooklyn. So I'm gonna start to try to push these runs. The thing is, I'm not really trying to approach it like the full marathon, just because I wasn't doing really any lifting, especially in the last like section of the training block for the full marathon. This time around, I wanna lift. You know what I'm saying? I wanna lift and run. I'm not really trying to go too crazy. I think as long as I'm like sub, sub 95 minutes is good. Shower up, eat, and then off to work. Okay. All right. You the sweats that went crazy sold out mad quick. We're just actually going through some final testing for the restock of these. Drop them off to get final adjustments. Hi, just leaving these for Jackie. He told me to drop off for you. Check it out. It's got this first pair of Realtree shorts back. Went with the Realtree Edge, as you can see, material. But these are super fucking dialed, bro. Planning on dropping these with the, probably the waffle tanks or even maybe some of the new tees and stuff that I'm working on, but super happy with how these came out. These are gonna be a fucking summer hit for sure. Check it out. I'm rocking a new sample right now. It's actually a waffle tank that I'm developing and I'm rocking it with the real tree edge pants, but these waffles, bro, like I said, I'm trying to sell these as a two pack and the combo with the fitted, bro. Your boy's not playing. About to head home. Gonna do a little yoga class tonight. It's Friday night. Are we turning up? No, we're doing yoga because you know I need to be doing my little me time thing right now. Silence. All right. And what better way to do it than to be zen with some yoga? All right. So let's go home, walk Kobe, dial in some yoga tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, sir. Say goodbye.